side bits. Yeah, but I'm keeping all this bit on the back and on the top. But like you've done before, you know what I mean. Of course, not a problem. What have you done? Oh, I'm so sorry. When I opened up the other day, that man just was already in. What? That man who just walked past? Yeah. for headache in this house. Top drawer by the kettle. Yeah. What have you got on your head? Oh, um, Ryan had a bit of an accident cutting my hair. Do you not like it? Yeah, it's great. It goes with that ring on your finger. Oh, I'm not married. Mm. Um, what it was was that I've got a friend and she said when she wears a wedding ring at work, it stops people trying to cop off with you. Right. Um, how's that working out for you? Never been hit on yet. You know, you wouldn't have to have any painkillers if you weren't over. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry what for? For the way you spoke to me or for being drunk? Please, Anna. I can do without this right now. Mm, it's a simple question, Dad. What are you sorry for? I'm sorry for shouting at you. And I'm sorry for getting drunk, okay? Thank you. But it doesn't change anything, I'm still going. Look, I think we need to talk about this. Properly. Later though, not now. Yeah, okay. Talk as much as you like, but my mind's made up. Oh, come on! Good match. They don't show sports in here. This is Dickinson's real deal. Uh, well, I've been told I've got a keen eye for antiques, you know. Is that so? Yeah, and I've worked up quite a first today. Good job we're in a bar then, isn't it? Got us doubles. It was only an si extra six quid. Oh, great, that. Give me my card back. What are you doing? Oh, you shut up. Everyone's looking at us. Here, I love, what can I get you? What's his problem? Scott? <laughs> I used to think he was a nice guy, but cheating on someone. Cheating? How scandalous. Who did he cheat on? Her? Lauren? No way. It wouldn't be alive if he cheated on her. Anyway, she's too good for him anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> So, who was the unlucky lady? Natalia. Natalia? Natalia from around here? It's really tragic as well, you know. Her uh, brother died the same night. Oh my god, seriously? Mm -hmm. Shows you what kind of guy he is, though, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you didn't buy me a drink now. Just dodged a bullet there, love. Anyway, I'll get rid of this stock and then I'll come and serve you, alright? Yeah, no rush. Right. Hey, Rob. Nice to see you hey. stood up and not sat at the bar for a change. This is my daughter, Anna. Hi, Anna. You have a lovely shop here. Mm. Hey, you've not seen any strange characters uh, around here recently, have you? No. It's just that I was at Ryan's barber shop the other day and he mentioned there was a man who was already in there when Ryan got there. He's really shaken up by it all. Luckily, nothing like that's happened here. Nobody would dare do anything like that in this shop. How's the sale of the new uh, development going, Rob? Yeah, great. Sold two already. Have you? So, drinks are in you tonight, then. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Anna. Drinks. No. I would have thought somebody who lives in a big house, like you, wouldn't be nicking a bottle of wine. How do you know where I live? Do I have myself a little stalker? Don't fly yourself. Whatever. It's no shame, you know, being strapped for cash. Who said I was scrapped for cash? Why don't you come and work for me? Doing what? Work. What kind of work? Mm -hmm. no. It's 
got to say this. If you're interested, give me a call. I knew we ordered too much food. What are you about? It's breakfast, that. <sighs> you're making good. It's all right for you. Probably get Andy bringing you breakfast in the morning. Oh, my mosa, I didn't get to have a drink with you the other day. Oh, shut up. It's actually really nice, you know. <laughs> Is he really? Why have you got to be like this? I guess I'm just not a real man. Not like Andy. Anyway, at least I'm not completely unrealistic. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I heard you was at that Natalia's the other day. Did you call a plumber? It's not like that. Hmm, <laughs> well, you never even told me why you two split up. It's not important, is it? It's me you're speaking to. I cheated on it. And how long were you trying to get with the car? No, no. And you just go and do something so stupid? Apparently. Well, are you not going to go and try and win her back? No, I'm not. Do you not remember that time when she finally agreed to let you take on a date? She wanted you to take a dancing. And what did you go and do? I bought break dancing lessons. You just don't listen. She didn't specify. Break dancing. <sighs> so, like, what are we doing again? It's really good for relaxation. Oh, well, I'll tell you how I like to relax. A nice bottle of red and an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. But like, how was it meant to help you? Just try it. Did you hear that Kim and Kanye are getting a divorce? How scandalous. Amelia. Ah, meditation, relaxation. Thanks for coming again. I'm sorry about last time. Oh, are you feeling okay about it? I'm still quite shaken. I've had to double lock all of my doors. Have you tried to find out who he was? Go on then, Ryan. Squeeze us in. Oh, I'm with someone at the moment. Time to run me back. Half an hour. Uh, yeah, go on. I'll take a light lunch. See well, you in a... Well, actually, um, do you know anything about this... Strange man hanging around Skew Bridge. A bit more specific than that, mate. Um, hard looking, Manchester accent, scary. Um, it's everyone round here, innit? See you later. That was Scott. He works for the estate agency. Oh, was he? I reckon I need to go see him, you know. Uh, I could do with a room somewhere. I do have a spare room at my place, and I could do with the company right now. Great. Can I come have a look at it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Did you fart? What? A weird smell. It's the candle. Oh, why does it smell like that? What do you want it to smell of? Wine. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> oh, I bumped into Scott the other day in the pub. Oh. Andy told me everything that happened. You know, if you ask me, you are well rid of him. Anyway, I think he fancies David Dickinson now. Do you know what really scares me? Is that you can be with someone for years and give them everything and they'll still turn around and completely screw you over. It's like you can't actually trust anyone. Well, you can trust me. To be honest, you're the only person that's taken my mind off things. So thanks. <laughs> Alright, uh, Gary, not been stuck in here all day, have you? No. What are you doing with that? Ah, Charles, I've, uh, I've been on a bit of a journey and I've decided that I'd like some life experience. I'd like to go to the boozer to try out some of the local ale. Look, what have I already told you? We need to keep a low. Hang on. You know what? I've got some business to start out in the pub. And you have been in here all day. But remember, keep a low profile, all right? Of course. Oh, my first pub trip is going to be great. Right, this meeting is going to go all right, isn't it? Hmm. Of course. I don't think anything could go wrong in a place like that. Great. Come on, let's go. 